جنین پالم ویگا رو بیرید The one is about Boxcar Bertha, which um, was recently published, but it was published actually in 1937. It was called uh, Sister of the Road, great book. <clears throat> It's about um, Boxcar Bertha, who was in the venerable tradition of women traveling alone, uh, a woman who, who mainly rode the rails. And she was, she has the same, um, uh, she's like Meridil the Sir in her uh, perception of society and what can be done, what can't be done. <clears throat> so here goes box cover. So this is the only uh, review Hunky ever wrote. There are times when I say to myself, where has the color gone? The flavor, the character I used to come in contact with so often in my life. Perhaps I'm to blame. I'm older now. But I somehow believe those days of the free spirit, so to speak, are behind us. A new book I've come across called Boxcar Bertha is an autobiography of a woman hobo from the 30s. And it brings back to life that spirit, the adventure and the eccentricities of what I feel is an American heritage we've lost somewhere along the way. I can honestly say that I wish I had met Bertha on one of my own rail rides. I would very, very much like to have known her. She seems a charming, forthright young woman one who could take care of herself in all situations. Riding the rails was not an easy business. My own, my own first experience with rail riding occurred near, of all places, Las Vegas, Nevada. I hitched a ride with a crazy man, if there ever was one, just south of there, and I was sorry to learn that his destination was Las Vegas, because I rather enjoyed that ride, and in fact, preferred hitching rides to hopping rails. When he left me off, I ran into another guy along the highway who asked me where I was going. I told him to California where a lot of us were headed in those days. He replied that by God I should jump the next freight train out of town if I wanted to get there fast. Well, I thought it was worth a try, though not without the risk of danger. Following his instructions as close to the letter as possible I got my first thrill of writing them, of writing them, but oddly enough, did not end up in California at all. I made it to Chicago instead, my home at that time. I returned though with the knowledge that I could leave town anytime I wanted with whomever I wanted and the illusion that I was free to come and go as I pleased has never left me. The closest I came to anybody like Boxcar Bertha was on a rail, I mean, was, on a, was on a run outside of Louisiana. We considered ourselves lucky to get uh, aboard a train with a woman in the crowd. I could and did talk with her and learn from her. My first thought was then that she was something of a whore. But I soon learned otherwise. She had high moral standards and chose her men accordingly. This only comes, I recognize, from many experiences riding and trying to make a living all about the country. I myself felt that I did not experience quite as much. This boxcar Bertha commanded the respect of all the bums and yeggs and reds and grifters on the road. And her book is really a wonderfully revealing and evocative period piece. The knowledge is here, the bravado and the understanding, The compassion, I recall, I often thought to myself, where was I to go? What was I to do? Bertha made traveling the road an option of livelihood in itself, as did Ben Reitman, who I recall as well was a real champ at this game. Lastly, I'd like to say here that I've had young people mention to me over and over again how relatively unscathed by my many experiences I am commenting upon my so-called intrepid spirit and the like. Well, I say time and again that they would certainly do and could only do what I did, which is, believe it or not, play it generally by ear. How can one plan some things, least of all a life on the road? Boxcar Bertha illustrates the unexpected leaps one takes when traveling from place to place with no sure destination in mind.
Thank you.